I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Matthew Irish, and I'm a software engineer working on the HashiCorp Cloud Platform, or HCP for short. Today, I wanted to give you a little preview of the platform and the first product we're offering on the platform, HCP Console, which is available in beta starting today. So let's say that your organization is starting a cloud migration, and you're moving more applications to the cloud. You're going to need a way for those applications to secu securely communicate to each other, no matter where they're running, whether that's on, in containers on Nomad or Kubernetes, in a VM environment like EC2, or even on-prem. With HCP Console, you can deploy production-ready console clusters securely and easily. And with HCP Console, you can also focus on building your applications and using the features that Console provides rather than running Console. So let's take a look at the HashiCorp Cloud Platform. All that you need to get started is a GitHub account. So we'll go ahead and sign in here. And then once you're logged in, we're going to walk you through the steps that you need to get started. But I'm going to do that for you today. So the first one is we need to create a HashiCorp virtual network. And then once that's done, we can deploy our first console cluster onto that network. And then finally, we'll need to create a peering connection to that HashiCorp virtual network so that you can communicate externally to the, the cluster running in the HVN. Let's go ahead and start by creating that HashiCorp virtual network. So we'll go here and click Create. And on the form, we've already defaulted the name, the cloud provider in the region for you, as well as the CIDR block. We're going to keep those defaults for this demo, but feel free to edit those. Now, the HashiCorp virtual network is a network abstraction in HCP. So anything that you deploy in HCP will be done so on a HashiCorp virtual network. We're starting with just AWS and US West 2 as the cloud provider and region, but we'll be expanding those over time. You can see we're done here. And now this is deployed on AWS and US West 2, as we said before, and we get the CIDR block details as well. But now that that's done, we can go ahead and deploy our first console cluster. We do that by clicking Create. And then, again, we've defaulted the name here, as well as the HVN, and this HVN is the one we just created. We now have a fully managed console cluster. As you can see here, there's the details of the cluster. Uh, we have three servers in this cluster, and it's running on the HVN that we just created. And there's also a spot here to download the config if you want to run an agent or if you need an ACL token. Now, what we also did on the break was we created a peering connection, which is the final step that you need. So we'll go here and see that this is the peering connection we created. And what that does is it sets up a connection between an external network, in this case an AWS VPC, and the HVN that we've deployed in HashiCorp Cloud Platform. So I actually also have a Bastion host in that VPC. So we'll switch over to that. And I'm inside the Bastion host here. And below, you can see that we're running console members. And above, I've downloaded that client config that we talked about before. So we're going to start a console agent. And as we do that, you'll see the members of the console cluster pop in below. So there we go. And now you can see that we have three servers, again, in the HVN. And this, you can see that the servers that are deployed are in the CIDR block that matches the HVN as well. So that's how easy it is to get started with HCP console. And we have a fully managed, production-ready console cluster. Thanks again, and be sure to visit our landing page to find out more or request access.